Pastor Pinky, Pastor Pinky. Nerd Soul. Late LK at one young so it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh yeah, we coming with another wonderful episode of That's Right on Screen. We're gonna be talking about none other than episode three of Black Lightning. And let's just get into the fact that I love LaWanda's purpose that has now bled into this episode. Uh, we open up at the church, and everybody's feeling like, look, it's now or never. We have to do something. We gotta figure out a way to let her life, let her passing mean something. And I like the rip between, you know, the, the police and the church because, you know, the officer, he's like, look, you know, you getting all these people riled up, they're gonna get hurt. And he's like, you know, the police ain't doing nothing. And then I like the little exchange about, you know, Basically, you wearing all these fly shoes and stuff. I wear work shoes and kind of seeing the, the difference between who's really working for the people. Now on the flip of that, we have Anissa kind of like working through her power, figuring out how she's changing, what she's gonna do, how she's gonna like level up and figuring out how her power works. And I do like the fact that she went, you know, somewhere that was kind of like secluded, even though they had those lights on. So, I mean, I guess someone's gotta be out there, you know, working the overnight shift. Also, she is kind of out in the open. You know, you gotta start your power small and keep it hidden because somebody could be like a security guard or something and see her kicking a washing machine all the way across the street and they're gonna be like, yo, this girl got superpowers or something like that. So Anissa, I'm glad that you're getting your practice on. You need to practice in a safe environment, but you also need to practice on the low low. So you did one, but not the other. So I'm giving you half points for that. Um, but I do like that she trained and Black Lightning was training in this episode. You know, he got, you know, a new, you know, the new little glove where he could kind of pinpoint, you know, his, you know, his lightning. So he, he practiced that out a little bit and he got to use it. We'll talk about that later on. But um, in the midst of going back to the trainings, talking to the church, talking to the pastor, talking to the officer, there's this revolving uh, thought in this episode about hope and religion and you know whether people are definitely for religion or whether people are definitely against it but in this episode it didn't seem like people were definitely against religion they were not feeling it like you know Tobias ain't feeling it Lady Eve ain't feeling it and it seemed like the officer wasn't super feeling it but he kind of feeling it and then they they positioned the pastor in one of those kind of like you know it's pinky you know what I'm saying so they positioned him in a way where it's like dude is kind of dirty anyway like he he seems kind of you know a little just a little slimy so it they didn't put you know the church in the best light in this episode but i mean hey you know what i'm saying this is this is freeland so freeland you know things ain't you know things a little bit you know a little bit corrupt in freeland so i mean of course that would bleed into the church especially when lady eve is talking about how one of the pastors told her what was going to go down so you know hey look Everybody just trying to get by. So in that, let's go on and talk about Lady E. I love how she was introduced. She's real relaxed, but you can tell she has the power. And we don't know if, because of course, I'm, I'm assuming that Black Lightning is the only one with powers. We don't know exactly about Tobias or Lady Eve yet, especially in this incarnation. But just to see her, you know, kind of controlling and not really sweating it, like Tobias is, lets you know that she's on a whole nother level of the power. You know what I'm saying? It, she, I'm, I'm very, you know, very hyped on her role in this. You know what I'm saying? I love Joe Scott, homegirl getting her, be getting her act on. So I'm, I'm very psyched to see how she plays this out, how she comes into play maybe later in the season. I figure either A, they might just play her like she, they played her last night, where it's like, or the other night, where basically, hey, we see her every other episode or something like that, and you know, she's kind of like this overarching figure, or she might kind of get her hands dirty and get in there, maybe go toe to toe with Black Lightning, you never know. So I'm, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that because I would love to see that, I think that would be cool, even though technically that would be like a man fighting a woman, which would be weird, but I mean, I guess it's okay, you know, hashtag equality. But anyway, uh, let's talk about Jen and Anissa's romance because this is, uh, 
Anissa straight wrong, all right? Straight up, I ain't even going to miss no words. Anissa wrong. Like, yo, you know you out at this party spandexed up with this other chick, and you know you got a girl at home, B. Yo, you got a key to her place? Yo, why you ain't just, why don't you just be like, yo, we done, I, I'm not feeling this relationship, I wanna break up. And then everything would've been cool. You sneaking around, you know what I'm saying, with old girl, Grace over here, you, you trying to get your little romance on here, and you got your real girl at home? Come on now, you know you wrong. And this, Anissa, on one hand, I'm glad that you got powers. And most of the part, I'm for you. But on the relationship side, I gotta ding you. I gotta take a point back because you know you was foul. And then trying to act like you didn't know what you was doing. Like, you know, if this, if, if it was flip, you'd be like, yo, why is my girl out with another girl in spandex dancing all sexually and stuff? And yes, I said that. So anyway, Anissa, you wrong for cheating. Sort of, and you're right for getting your train on. But we're gonna slide that to the side and we're gonna get into, of course, Jen's romance or talk, if you will. Um, the, the talk that they had was very short, very telling, and very interesting when it comes to black parents. See, like, this is something that I would definitely expect for a white show. You know what I'm saying? That's some white kid stuff. Be like, yeah, I think I'm ready for sex and I'm gonna have sex on Tuesday or something. <laughs> Look, let's, let's just be honest. And, I, and straight up, you know, I know kids watch the show. You should definitely be open and honest with your parents, but there's a level of openness that, you know what I'm saying? A level of boldness that you should not go. And I think Jen might have overstepped that. You can't just tell your parents like, yeah, I'm gonna have sex tomorrow. Like. It, you just, it's just not a good, it's just not a good idea. And I don't have all the answers. Maybe Uncle, maybe Dr. Phil or Uncle Phil can answer this, but I'm just saying, I, it's just not a good look. And then even later on, Black Lightning is talking and he's like, yo man, this some white parent stuff. Like normally we should have been like, nah, we ain't trying to hear that. But you know what I mean? Hey, look, things happen and things go on. Next thing you know, your silence at the dinner table. But we got tons of stuff to get to because there's magic bullets, there's super suits, and there's super landings or superhero landings. But of course, first, Cure Brand will help us pay them bills. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Check that link below. Hats, shirts, hoodies, all that. And once you find something you like, cop it. Now let's talk about Tobias. Uh, dude is definitely at the end of his rope in this situation because you know that he is not believing in no fake Black Lightning coming back. He like, I personally killed Black Lightning. I know what I did. I was there when I killed him. Here's the thing, bad guy, usually I'm telling this to good guys, but bad guys too. If you don't confirm the kill, then they'll probably be back next episode. Or in this case, in nine years. So Tobias is kind of can't believe what he's seeing because he's like, yo, I know I had a showdown with this dude. I know I killed him. And why is a fake Black Lightning running around? So it was good because he had to see this for himself. Like he had to experience Black Lightning standing there in front of all those people for himself. Also, it was good for the people of Freeland to see Black Lightning, you know, do the superhero landing, even though I don't know whose car that was, but they're gonna have to call Geico or something because that car is total. But anyway, well, they might be able to save it. But anyway, the point is, he went there, the guy had an Uzi, he blocked it with the electromagnetic field or whatever, then he shot the other dude with the finger, the finger bolts. Like, yo, he, those small movements were not only cool, but they were, they were perfect at that moment for the people of Freeland. You know, they, they're marching, they think that this might be their last option. And here he comes, of course, with just, just powerful. And to have that symbol to stand behind, to say, you know, this guy is fighting for us, like in this perfect moment where apparently he is fighting for us, that's everything that the city of Freeland needed. Of course, the, the just normal working folks of Freeland needed to feel that hope to feel that strength to go along and uh, to go ahead and go forward against this fight with the 100. And yo, man, it was perfect timing. And I love how it went down. Now, of course, people can say this is cheesy or whatever, but I think it's perfect, man. They need that symbol, and that symbol is now back in full 
force. So guys, there's, there's a whole bunch going on. You have the magic bullet that went through the past that he's okay, but paralyzed the other young brother. And we don't know if he's ever gonna walk again. I hope he will, but you know, those all those plans about running and stuff are probably over. Also, you see the people's response on the news, so you know that they are behind Black Lightning and they feel more hope already, regardless of what the police are saying. The people are like, no, this dude is the people's champ. He's here for us. So I'm just excited, as excited as they are. So guys, of course, holler at me. I'm gonna holler at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about Black Lightning. What are you feeling? What are you not feeling? And do you think Tobias and Black Lightning are gonna fight before the end of the season? Anyway, before I bounce, I'm gonna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all of that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one for the play -ets. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, of course, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart, and please, be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, superheroes, never turn your back on the enemy. Peace.